entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Shooting. And suspense. No bother, Miss Annie. Tag and Lee Wong, good friend. It isn't a question of friendship, Lee Wong. Tag is supposed to be at home right now doing the chores. He's being punished for staying out late last night. Now go on home, Tag. Yes, sir. What's between you two, anyhow? Uh, like I say, Tag and Lee Wong, good friend. Talk about many things. Your special lacy cotton come out real good, Miss Annie. That will be two bit and 12 cents, please. Have you seen the Scanlon brothers lately? Uh, not since I throw flat iron at them. Uh, next time they come, uh, Lee Wong not be so gentle. See? Have kept Lee Wong family safe for many years. We'll continue to do same. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful, Lee Wong. A real work of art. But I wouldn't try using this on the Scanlon brothers if I were you, or anybody else for that matter. Lofty is a good peace officer. If you get in trouble, call him. Okay, Miss Annie, if you say so. <laughs> Goodbye, Leon. Goodbye. Good morning, Miss Oakley. Good morning, Mr. Rand. Is my laundry ready, Lee Wong? Uh, laundry ready, Mr. Rand. Did you starch the collars? Plain this starch, Mr. Rand. Uh, four bit, three cents, please. Have you changed your mind about selling that property of yours at the corner of Main and Elm? No change mind yet, Mr. Rand. Not even if I tell you I've got a customer that will pay you as high as $2,000 for it? Not enough, Mr. Rand. This town grow fast. Lee won't keep land maybe two, three years more. Uh, property maybe bring him $10,000, $12,000. Lee Wong will wait. Some people say a depression's coming on. Oh, no depression, Mr. Rand. No depression. Well, I hope you're right. was tied around the rock. <laughs> Lee Wong no savvy. You read him, please. You don't want Chinaman and Diablo. Go back to China where you belong. If you don't leave town, we'll run you out. Signed, property owners of Diablo. Too bad, Lee Wong. Money fix broken window, but money will not fix Lee Wong's broken feelings. Work, Annie. You the one who broke the window? It's a lie. I didn't break it. You sure tore out in a hurry. If you didn't do it, why'd you run? Everybody knows me and my brother's been having trouble with that Chinaman. 
If I'd have been seen around there, I'd have gotten the blame for it, so I got out. You're gonna leave now, Deputy. You heard his story. Point that gun at a peace officer. We'll help either one of you, Nick. What are you always picking on us for? We're not the only ones in town that hate Chinamen. Maybe not. But you Scanlon brothers are the only ones that have been showing it. Is there a law that says we got a likely one? No. But there is a law that says you can't go around roughing up people and destroying property. I never laid a finger on the Chinaman, and she never saw me throw no rock. Well, then what were you doing in town? He was supposed to be riding herd for old Lowry. He went in for tobacco and coffee. And there they are. You got a pretty weak case, Deputy. Maybe, till I find witnesses. You won't find any. I can believe that. You two plug uglies have got the whole town buffaloed, haven't you? We're lucky. We got lots of friends. Well, yeah, don't stretch your luck too far. <laughs> Snowed all right. Yeah, right when he was in the Chinaman shop. Just since nobody in town's gonna think he's behind this trouble. Night, Tag. Hi, Daddy. Annie? Yes? What's the trouble Lee Wong's having? I wish I knew, Tag. I guess it's just somebody that doesn't like him. Why not? He's a nice fella and smart, too. But you should see him at... Well, never mind. But I just can't figure out why somebody wouldn't like him. Well, there's some people, Tag, that have silly fears about other people that don't live exactly as they do. I don't know why they don't take the trouble to understand them. Oh, don't you worry about that now. You go to sleep. All right. Good night. Annie? Yes? Are you gonna punish me tomorrow? Well, you sneaked out today. I don't see any reason why I ought to shorten it. Oh, Annie. Well, you go to sleep now. We'll see what happens tomorrow. All right. Good night. Good night, Ted. The Scanlon boys are in town getting drunk over at Rieger's Cafe. I'll check it before turning in. Oh, Lofty. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right, Annie. Night. Good night. Doggone it, Annie. You're getting prettier every day. Oh, go on. <laughs> Nobody's gonna tell me what to do. This is a free country and I'm no Chinaman. Drink your coffee and sober up, and stop talking about the China. Get him out of here fast before he makes trouble for all of us. What are you trying to do, get Rand Sordas and stop all that easy money? No, all I want is more of it. Keep your voice down. Come on, let's go. All right, all right. Well, where you are. Look who blew in. Don't start picking on him. All right, all right. Good night, everybody. And you too. Cup of coffee, sir. This is how it's done. Now you try him, Tag. All right, Lee Wong. Gee, 11 o'clock. I better get home. If Annie catches me out again tonight, the fanciest president in the world won't help me. Think we'll finish on time? When is Miss Annie's birthday? Day after tomorrow. 
Time is short, but Lee Wong will help. Miss Annie will get present on time. Gee, it sure has been swell of you to show me how to work the leather. <laughs> Pleasure is Lee Wong's. Better go now. All right. Good night, Lee Wong, Mrs. Lee Wong. Wong will take care of everything. It is not needed to make trouble for you and spoil birthday surprise for Miss Annie. Go home. All right, Lee Wong. You slug me? No, Lee Wong tried to help. You dirty skull confinement! Help! 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you hitting me for? I done nothing. It's this Chinaman here. He murdered my brother. No, Mr. Deputy. Big Don't things, listen to the lion skunk. It's not a question of what I think, Lee Wong. Look at the facts. Nick Scanlon was killed with your dagger. I tell you, dagger stole from me yesterday. You don't believe? We believe you, Lee Wong, but the facts are working against you. Now listen. First, the dagger. Second, the murder happened at the end of the alley that runs behind your place. And third, your feud with the Scanlons is known all over town. Lee Wong only know he not guilty. Somebody put frame around him. Well, it certainly couldn't have been Clint. You can say what you want to about him, but I've never seen two brothers that were so close. Well, finally wake up, sleepyhead. Hey, Annie, what's Lee Wong doing in jail? Nick Scanlon was killed last night, Tag. Lee Wong is suspected. Suspected? Why, well, he didn't do it. What do you know about it? Gosh, Annie, please don't be sore at me, but I... I snuck out again last night. And when I was coming home, I saw it happen. You saw what happened, Tag? Well, I was at Lee Wong's house. When it got to be 11 o'clock, I left. I went out the back door and down the alley. Then I saw this man standing at the end of the alley. Then these two other men came by, and he attacked them. But I didn't know he was killing them. One was killed. Well, after he knocked them both down, he ran down the alley past me. You see who it was? No, I was too dark. Well, what did you do then? Ran back to Lee Wong's. He took a look at him and told me to go home. So I know he didn't do it. Well, that kind of changes things, doesn't it? As far as we're concerned, it does. But you're right to go to trial with his story, though. The prosecutor make it look like nothing more than a little boy's nightmare. But it wasn't a nightmare. It was the truth. Maybe so, Tag, but Lofty's right. And what were you doing at Lee Wong's house last night? I can't tell you, Annie. I just can't tell you. What difference does it make, Annie? At least now we have the facts. Good morning, folks. Just heard about my good friend Lee Wong. Come to do what I could to help. There's been some ugly talk going around. Lynch talk. Well, we'll have none of it in here, please. Oh, of course. Uh, thoughtless of me. Uh, would you mind if I talk to the prisoner? If it's agreeable to him. My sympathies, Lee Wong. Looks rough, eh? What you need's a good lawyer, Lee Wong. 
One of them fire-eating, jewelry-swaying spellbinders from up at the Capitol. With a local man, you won't have a chance. But a high-powered lawyer will get you off scot-free. Those kind of lawyers cost a lot of money, though. You have any cash on hand? Levon, not guilty. Not lead lawyer. Oh, that's where you're making a grave mistake. Tell you what. As a friend, I could raise all the money you need. Just sign over that Main and Elm property as security. I love that townspeople aren't exactly friendly towards you, Wong. They may cause trouble. Lee Wong, not afraid. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, I can't do much for you. But if you change your mind, I'm always ready to help you. Bye, Deputy. Tag, I want you to be absolutely sure. This is a very serious accusation. What's a serious accusation? Tag thinks Rand is the murderer. It's just like I said. Cross my heart. When the man ran down the alley, he tore his coat on a nail, because I heard it rip. And now Mr. Rand's wearing a bandage on his wrist from where he hurt himself. All right. Suppose it was Rand. What's his motive? What can we prove in a kid's flimsy evidence? If you want proof, I can show you the nail. Well, after all, Lofty Tag does have a point. Let's take a look at that nail. What do you say? Sure, anything to help poor Lee Wong. All right, all right. I might as well go along. Don't worry, Lee Wong. We'll get you up, because I told him everything. Everything? Well, not everything. I'm not going to spoil any surprise, no matter how much punishment I have to take. All right, let's go, take. Looks like Clint's working that mob up for trouble. You go with Tag, Annie. I better stay here at the office. cloth, all right. There's no doubt about it. There where you are, I'll shoot. And just what is Miss Oakley, the sheriff's niece, doing with my coat? This is evidence against you, Mr. Rand, for the murder of Nick Scanlon. And who's going to believe that a torn coat makes me a murderer? There was a witness that saw you tear it and hurt your arm. Oh, I see. Naturally, you're not going to tell me who this so-called witness is. Naturally not. I don't believe there is a witness. You're taking a shot in the dark. Well, then that shot is going to bring the truth to light. You're not going anywhere without me, Miss Oakley. They're moving on the sheriff's hose to lynch the Chinaman. I thought you'd like to see it. Well, they're lynching the wrong man. This is the one they want. What's that? He killed your brother. Pay no attention to her, Clint. Better go back and give that mob some help. What makes you think he killed my brother? There was a witness that saw him, and this torn coat is the evidence. You're not going to believe a ridiculous story like that, Clint. Wait a minute. I'm just beginning to see things clear. We didn't make enough trouble for that Chinaman to make him sell out cheap. 
So you thought you'd make some real trouble for him, like killing my brother. Nick was my friend. I liked him. Yeah, but you like Lee Wan's Main Street property more. Now get out that window. And remember, I've got a gun at your back. Get out of here, boy! We got you surrounded, Lofty. Send the Chinaman up. Nobody else will get hurt. He's innocent. And even if he weren't, you're breaking the law by trying to take him. If you don't send him up, we're going to come in there and get him. You want him, you'll have to get me first. Two of you boys go get that log. We'll bust him the door. Clint's been shot by Rand. He said Rand killed his brother. Lofty! Lofty! Rand's got Annie! Where? At his office! Get out there! Wong just sold the property that Rand was trying to take away from him. The railroad bought it for $22,000. Oh, Lofty, that makes me so happy. Oh, which reminds me. Happy birthday, Annie. Well, so it is. Gee, I've been so busy, I forgot all about it. Oh, Tag. Where did you get this beautiful bridle? I bought the leather and made it myself. That is... Lee Wong helped me, you know, showing me and everything. That's where I was the nights I snuck out. Which reminds me. Oh, Annie, you're still gonna punish me? <sighs> After all the trouble you went to to make me this lovely gift. Tag, I think I'm the one that ought to ask for forgiveness. Oh, that's easy. You're forgiven. And I promise I'll never sneak out at nights again. Ever. <laughs> Happy birthday for me, too, Annie. Oh, Lofty. Oh, aren't they pretty? 